three, two, one, generating the app. All right, let's see. Done. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It. The yeah, app's name is me. It's in six seconds. Oh, it's really just that. Me. Yeah. Tinder for dog would be great because I'm a dog parent. But... Hold on. So you're saying if I just put in a prompt the way I do with Chat GPT, correct? It will create an entire application for me. Absolutely. Oh. And an app that I can use on my phone. So let's see if we can find Tinder for dogs. That's us. adorable. Yeah. So that in five seconds we've got an app that's named Dogs. Hello, oh, this is a sarcastic cat. Is it already live? Yeah. So all I have to do is click on publish. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Meme rolls. Point that to the camera if you'd like. I actually got it. Like right now. Welcome back to Builder Central. So today we're here at WeWork and we've got a really exciting, exciting video for you guys today. There's this tool called Glide. Okay. And on Glide, there's this new feature where all you have to do to create an app is give it a prompt. It's as simple as that. You had, you've heard of text to image, you've heard of text to video, and now we've finally reached a time where this text to application, which is freaking phenomenal. So without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, I've got the first participant with me. So please give us your introduction. Let us know what you do. Hey, uh, my name is Zawal. I run a creator agency uh, called Soft. You can check out our channel, Soft TV. Hi, I'm Madhushree. So I have been working for the last 11 years. Education-wise, I am an engineer, followed by MBA, which is the classic thing which a lot of people do. I'm here with Chipti Singh. I work for an organization called 60 Decibels and we measure social impact. So how's that journey been for you so far? I deal with a lot of people who are using B2B products. The journey's been pretty exciting. Uh, creating content, of course, it has its own challenges, but once the final product is out there and you see the video working, all the gratification one needs for a job well done. Nice. Have you used any technological innovations, like let's say AI tools or no-code tools to help with this gratification? Not yet, but I do feel uh, my editors, that is one place where I find uh, the biggest challenge for my editors had something. Memifying a video is also an art again, uh, but finding the right one, again, the challenge uh, is in the on. So yeah, 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 it comes down to research. I have something that might be of use to you. All right, so there's this thing called Glide. Okay. And they've released a new software update where basically you have the option to generate an app using AI. And all you need to do is just give a simple, simple prompt. Hold on, so you're saying, if I just put in a prompt the way I do with Chat GPT, it will create an entire application for me. Absolutely. And I don't have to do it. It's just about the prompt. It's just about and an app that I can use on my phone. It will come with data structures already installed. It will come with an entire layout. It will come with the kind of actions that you can take on this app. It will okay. come with different installations. If you want to add more users to your applications on the back end, you can do that. All of that and it would take less than 30 seconds. So you want to give it a try? I am curious. I definitely love to check it out. All right. If I click on the new app button over here. Now, whatever prompt, like let's say, is there anything that you need an app for right now? Anything, any app that you can think of. Tinder for dog would be great because I'm a dog parent. Oh. But let's let's look for that. Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> so let's see if we can find Tinder for dogs. If you had to create any application for your organization. We got 300 applications the moment we opened a role for an intern a couple of days ago. And I would just love for... That 300 to be confined to a list to that's like so much easier for you to go something. through. Okay, so I'm using this tool called Glide. And all we need to do for this is describe the app you want to create. Okay, I'm gonna time me for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three, two, one, generating the app. All right, let's see. Done. <laughs> what? I'm not even kidding. It. The Shut app's up. name it's is me. It means six it's, seconds. From it's really it's just that much. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So now, if I click on create this app. It'll pop up over here. In five seconds, we've got an app that's named uh, Perfect Match. Perfect Match. Oh, it's given that's us adorable. A yeah. If we come here to the likes, this is probably a different section of the application. So this is potentially all of the different likes that you would show for potential this matches. Is the different matches that you will end up liking. Correct. Yeah. yeah. This will show the matches essentially. Yep. So these are different slides, right? I can choose to see them. Yeah. So your app's name is Top Five Talent. <laughs> And yeah, so we've already got resumes, we've got roles, we've got skills, we've got candidates. So awesome. Okay, now we have all of your resumes over here. Okay, we have all of the skills that you're looking for. We can find that over here. So if you're looking for someone in Python, someone in Java, someone in data, and crazy, I, I didn't even type any of this. 
I didn't even type any of this. It wasn't even 30, was like overstating it. If I say 10 seconds, then it's clickbait. <laughs> if I say 30 seconds, then it's hmm, probable. But dude, that was impressive. Yeah. yeah. So here, you've got your entire layout over here. You've got Monday morning kind of memes. You've got work from home life. So you've already got your categories, basically. Right. right. I love this a sarcastic cat. Yeah, wow, so that's fantastic. It's pretty good. Yeah. I am inclined. <laughs> just hop on this wait is it uh, is it paid like what are the charges like so right now we're on the free plan and with the free plan alone you can already get so much value what are you saying yeah this Hold is the free plan and i think the best part about it is that even as a potential entrepreneur spending six to eight weeks to try and get an mvp you've got an mvp in 30 seconds actually yeah is it already live? Yeah, so all I have to do is click on publish. What if you add my email ID as editor, just to test? Yeah, we can do that, we can do that. All right, so now as soon as I publish this. Oh, I got it. Yeah, mean rolls. I actually got it, like right now. It was surreal. Yeah, so I'm still processing it. <laughs> <laughs> so would you be likely to use Glide to help with your day-to-day -day problems in an organization that you're facing with Sosh? Definitely. I mean, yeah. I think I'm going to just sit and tinker with this a little more on my own. A bunch of other things that I can think of, I think I can use this. And what about no-code, low-code tools? What would you say about those? Uh, I would say like um, a lot of profiles are here to disrupt and a lot new more are coming. But it's going to be interesting because new things with new excitement. So a lot of new skills to learn from. So that's what I say. All I can say is after this, I'm just independent from every kind of like, I can sit at home and do whatever you set up an entire business app. Yeah, the, the works. You can bro, you definitely yeah. can. Would you rather opt for a tool like this where you could learn how to do everything in about five days or would you opt for sitting with um, an app developer or a front-end developer would probably take you like six to eight weeks. Oh no, I don't for. want to waste time. Don't want to waste time. No, yes, a hundred percent. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Dabal. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you're you so much. Welcome. Awesome. Thanks. I'm so sorry. No I'm stress. Just, no stress whatsoever. I, like you said, it was just <laughs> five minutes. So you saw them create an application with a single prompt and you're probably wondering how it works. So let me tell you how this text prompt app thing really works behind the scenes. Let's break it down step by step. The first thing is NLP or natural language processing. When you type in your app idea, the system uses NLP or natural language processing to understand your request. Think of it as the AI reading between the lines of what you're asking for. Another example of NLP is um, your predictive text. So when you're on WhatsApp or when you're on Instagram and you're looking at the predictive text that keeps coming in the middle of the screen, that's also an example of NLP. So keep that in mind for next time. The second thing is intent recognition. The AI figures out the main purpose of your app. Are you looking to create a to-do list, a calculator, maybe a data visualization tool? The system identifies this core intent because the entire structure of the app differs depending on what kind of app you want to make. The third one is feature extraction. So now the AI gets into the details, it picks out the specific features and components you've mentioned or implied in your description. It's like the AI is creating a shopping list of what your app needs. Okay, the fourth thing is component mapping. With this list in hand, the system starts matching these features to pre-built components available in its toolkit. If you mentioned a list, it might pull out a list for you. The fifth thing is data model generation. Behind every great app is a solid data structure. The AI creates the necessary tables, fields, and relationships to support your app's functionality. The sixth is the UI layout generation. This one is amazing in my opinion. So now it's time to make it look good. Using the components it's selected and understanding the app's purpose, the AI creates the basic user interface layout, which looks kind of good in my opinion. The seventh thing is app logic creation. Now for the brain of the operation. The AI sets up the necessary logic and workflows to make your app actually work. This includes things like database queries and defining how users will interact with the app. The eighth thing is integration with existing platform. The AI doesn't work in isolation. It takes all of this, the UI, data model, and logic, and integrates it with the existing no-code platform, setting you up to further make customizations. So the ninth is iterative refinement. The AI might then engage in a bit of back and forth with you, asking for clarifications or offering options to refine the app it's created. And last but not least, we've got code generation. While this is primarily a no-code solution, there might be some underlying code generation happening to support custom functionalities that can't be achieved with the pre-built components alone. From a simple text prompt to a functional app structure in just seconds. It's actually the power of the combination of no-code and artificial intelligence, along with the clever engineering working together to bring your ideas to life. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe for more content. Make sure you hit the push notification so you don't miss another video. And for more videos like this, make sure you click over here and check the description for more details about Builder Central. And until then, keep building.
okay, gambling my milkshake.